okay? And we call a vector field a gradient field or a gradient vector field if, if there exists a scalar field, phi, such that the gradient of phi equals the vector field f. So usually f is, is a given vector field and it's up to you to produce some scalar field, phi, such that grad phi equals f. That's the basic um, idea. And this phi is called a potential function, or just a potential for short. Okay, so let's investigate this a little bit further. So let's define what I'm going to do, xi plus, uh, oh no, x squared i plus yj. So is this vector field a gradient field? Okay, so what we, what we would like to do here is to produce some scalar field phi such that grad phi equals the given vector field. Okay? So, we try to construct a function, oops, such that grad phi equals our vector field. Okay? So, what we want to do here is solve d phi dx equals x squared, d phi dy equals y. Right? Okay, so we've got two differential equations there, basically, and they can both be integrated quite easily. So integration yields the following. So if I integrate d phi dx equals x squared with respect to x, I'm going to get something like phi equals a third x cubed plus function of y. Okay, remember we're talking about partial derivatives here, so we don't have really constants of integration. We have, I guess, functions of integration. The integration on d phi dy equals y gives a half y squared plus v of x. So, what we would like to do now, if possible, is to choose functions u and v such that these two equations are one and the same. Okay? So, can anyone think of a choice for u? Yep. Seems pretty easy. Can anyone think of a different choice? Yes. You can have a constant in there if you really want to. And V of X would be something like a third X cubed. Okay? Through those choices, the two equations are one and the same. Right? Thus, we have phi to be one half, oh, let's do the x first, one cubed, one third x cubed plus one half y squared. If you really want to, you can put a constant, constant in there. So the answer to our original question, is this vector field a gradient field? 
Well, the answer is yes. And here, we've actually produced a scalar field, and you can check that grad phi equals the, the uh, vector field f. You can check that. 